assignment in Google Classroom. To create a homework assignment in Google Classroom, please go to your respective class. You want to click on your classroom. In this top hand section, you want to click on classwork. And after you've clicked on classwork, you want to hit the create button and we're going to create a specific assignment. Here in this assignment, you can add any kind of information that you would like to add to this homework assignment. I like to organize my homework assignments in numerical order. So my first homework assignment would always be 001. By the end of the school year, um, you probably should be over 100 homework assignments. If you're not there, that means you're not probably not giving enough, enough homework. So we're going to start off with homework assignment 001. I'm going to label it Big Ideas Math because that is the curriculum that we use. It is homework assignment 1.1. And then I'm going to give it a title, and this is for parents to have information, which is going to be Solve One Step Equations. In this homework assignment, you have three different things. Uh, so for your admin, uh, they can ask, you know, where are you in your curriculum? Well, right now we're on assignment 1.1 of our textbook. This homework, this first part, 001, this numerical order, this gives you an update of how many homework assignments you are doing. It also helps you organize your information much easier. And then the third information, solve one step equations. This is for parents. Parents are not going to know what 001 is or what big ideas math BIM 1.1 is. But they will know that solving one step equations will be right here. You have multiple ways of set, creating a homework assignment. You can just create the assignment without any other instructions or information uh, i usually like to attach a lot of my work here a lot of my math class is digital so i'd probably attach a homework link where they would complete it a kahoot a quizzes uh, whatever may be needed for that homework assignment but if it's also a worksheet you can also upload that specific worksheet so i'm gonna upload the homework assignment let's give it a second to upload so now it has created a homework assignment for the students you do have three options students can view the file students can edit the file or you can make a copy for each student i recommend always just in general make a copy for each student you won't have any hassle later on once you've created your information and your titles you've uploaded your document you can also give some instructions please show all of your work on a separate sheet of paper oops happens when you type fast all right so please show all your work on a separate sheet of paper and do not use a calculator there we go so now i have my title i have my instructions i have the homework assignment now on the right hand side you have some information that you can use if you've split up your homework assignments into tiers you can break them apart so only assign this specific assignment to some students you can assign it to all of the students i currently don't have any students in my class um, but you can send it to all the students category this was based off of your weighted grades so this is a homework assignment i'm going to put my grade category i'm going to give the number of questions it was it's worth 10 points 10 questions my due date is always the next day so today is the 12th so that means i want this homework to be due on monday and I also want it, if you don't give it a time, it's automatically going to set up a time of 11.59 p.m. And trust me, you will have some students that says, yeah, I, it's due Monday, but Monday at midnight, which is 11.59 p.m. So try to be specific. I try to make all my homework due at 8 o'clock in the morning, which means when the student comes in Monday morning, it's technically got to be done. And then I close submissions. That means they can't press turn in after they've uh, the assignment was due. This is going to stop students from pretending as if they completed the homework assignment last but not least your topic uh, our topic was homework this was a homework assignment so i have my title i have my instructions i have the actual homework assignment i have the students that i want to assign it to my grade category so if it was a test a quiz um, project whatever it might be my value of the points of how much the assignment is worth my due date so my due date is on monday and then I close my submissions. I don't want students to turn this in after it was due. Um, that way it just keeps students disciplined. And then my topic, it's organized underneath the specific topic. I'm gonna hit assign. Or you can also schedule this assignment. So for teachers that want to plan ahead, if you know you're gonna be absent for, um, for a specific day, hit schedule. And then what happens is you can tell, okay, I want this assignment to populate. And notice, could because it's due Monday, let's change the date, let's see. Let's change the date to the 18th. I know I'm not gonna be here on Monday, 
So I'm going to schedule this assignment to pop up on Monday at 8 a.m. So Monday at 8 a.m. it's going to populate and it's going to make the assignment go live. But I'm going to change this real quick. And now we're just going to hit assign. Once you hit assign, the homework assignment will populate for the students in their homework topic. That is how you create a homework assignment in Google Classroom.